Hello everyone, in this video we describe a very unusual complication of a nucleus drop that occurred due to a viscoelastic cannula and its management using a glute IUL. So this uh, case, as soon as the viscoelastic was introduced, the nucleus drop occurred because of the uh, impact of the cannula, probably because the viscoelastic was uh, either stuck in the cannula and the cannula was loosely fit on the syringe. This was a novice assistant and even though these things are drilled into all the assistants and all the residents, but sometimes these unusual things do occur as you can see again here that as soon as the viscoelastic is being introduced the nucleus drop occurred so then the retinal surgeon came over and managed this is a scleral tunnel being made in anticipation of a, a scleral uh, glued IUL that will be used and then after making the scleral tunnel, tunnel and preparing it for the glued IUL the trocar is used for making scleral ports then we use uh, do the standard procedure to remove the nucleus this is the vitrectomy that is being done to clear the uh, all the vitreous around the dropped nucleus uh, once we have isolated the nucleus uh, a little bit of triamcinolone is injected around the nucleus to free it completely and remove any further vitreous that may be stuck onto the nucleus. So now the nucleus is completely free and a phaco fragmentome in the dark eva uh, vitreoretinal system is being used to uh, eat up the nucleus and now as you can see the retina is completely clear so is the vitreous and the nucleus has been very uh, completely and cleanly removed this is the uh, sensor a uh, three-piece IOL that is being injected the max grip forceps is being used to externalize the haptics using the handshake technique through the tunnel that was made uh, prior to uh, inserting the IOL and uh, uh, the second haptic is now again being externalized in the opposite tunnel uh, using again the handshake technique with the max grips forceps and the tiny scleral flaps over the tunnel are now being sutured incisions are sutured and then a bandage contact lens is placed uh, to avoid any irritation so the take home message is that even now uh, even though everyone knows the importance of cannula being fixed properly onto the syringe we have to be very careful make sure that we use locked syringes which will probably avoid this complication and uh, check this again and again in every case at each step thank you